Hi, my name's Margaret. Welcome to Card Readings. I got a topic question for you. Um, it's gonna be a bit um out of, out of rack here, so this has to do with me. Um, it's called Gut Instincts in ICIS. Um, and I'm putting them back together. Um, in the four start, I like to thank the creator of this show and people put this show together because it's a fantastic show and it's one of them sh for me it's one of them shows I can use and it's not gonna harm anyone as you can see I'm kind of look a bit weird and odd kind of my I just want to be like happy so to put that to side like I said it's about gut instinct in this show now I'm pulling both together because I heard I watched a show last night and watch this show last night, she said, and it really made me think about it. I, I'll give you a bit of background about it. Now, this is Guy Cotone. It's this young man here. There. Um, he's going out with a lady doctor. All right. Um, and this, this lady called Abby. I'll introduce her to Abby. I'll see if I can get a bigger picture for her because it's important um, this lady here. Now, as you can see, she is wear really, really clothes. I love her. Um, she's my favorite actor, character in the show, one of my favorites. And there's another lady called Sarah, I think her name is. And the guy next to her, I can't remember his name, so you have to bear with me. These two people here. And you got the guy, I'll call him Diggy. I know it's his wrong name, but it's from another show I watched. So, the theory with this show, and I'll, I'll tell you the background about this show, is um, Tony falls in love with the flag. Um, she's a doctor, and her father gets in trouble with I, the lady in charge of I, sorry, NICS. Um, I don't know how she does, he does, but he gets in trouble with her, the person in charge. And she, he gets Tony's car, gets his information, like his um, driver's license, his um, photo ID and like his um, police badge. And he blows up his car, his car with this other person in the car and they say it's, it's um, Tony, right? So that's okay. And I'm, I'm sharing this with you right now so you know what's the theory behind it. And yeah, so it's, it's that's a theory. And the thing is, um, so I think it is, and the person next to her, like I said, him, this one here, he, they both think he's dead because you got your follow idea, I mean, follow ID, and his car, right? So we all think it's him, it's okay. So that's all right. So it's him, yeah, it's him, they all think it's him, um, to a point at the end, um, so it's good, <laughs> he's, um, um, what is it, envelope knives with her. Uh, but then you got Abby, she wants proof, she wants proof that it's Tony, she wants Evelyn, she wants, yet yeah, she has to follow ID and she gets the police um, badge, but she wants proof, like, this proof from in like um, blood test, um, skin type, you know, in the ta tattoos, that kind of stuff. And that's her pretty much her job. So she's just sitting there and saying, I don't believe it's Tony, it's, it can't be Tony. I don't have proof. I want proof about Tony. I want proof this is Tony, kind of thing. So that's all right. And Dougie, the person charging, just thinking, whatever he's thinking. And that's it, yeah. So that's okay. So that's fine. And at the end, she's right. He, if not dead, it's another person. Someone, he, the father of this um, doctor, put someone else in the car and blows up this car, and it's someone completely different. So that's the theory behind it. Now, you're probably watching this and thinking, what in the hell has this got to do with gut instincts, yeah? What in the hell has this got to do with it? And I get it. I understand it. 
But as you, you, as you all know, I am psychic. I pick up things. But what you all don't know, I'm pretty much off. Much can think outside the box. I'm pretty good with body language, and I'm pretty good with communication. I pick things up just like that, yeah. And this is why I chose this show. It's much of it. It's a funny show, and I love it. Like every time someone goes do something wrong, Ducky walks up and hits them across the head. That's a good boss. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to tell you why I chose it. Now, as I said, um, Abby needed proof, right? She needed proof. And the, four, the two episodes before this, um, she's in her, I would say, lab, because she's the person who you hand someone over, something over to them, right? Tony's please ID card and you get information from that saying who had that card and and who the person was right so that's her job that's pretty much her job she can home pin on things yeah so before this happened it's another episode where well a couple of episodes into this where she will find a, a, a fix a fun information from this this thing like the perfect sample was a car she had a little white stuff in, in from this car and then the car went into this place I don't know what it is but she went into to get this gun that they found from a box and the box near the box there was another piece of white phone or something on it and she picked it up and she's thinking to herself how did this get here? What is it? You know, it reminds me of the other thing, right? So she takes it to the lab, tests it, and then she realizes this is the same stuff from this other bit. So they're both connected in some way later to this gun. So, but when she does this, she realizes Dougie is actually picked, knows when she's um, actually found something. She called it. ESP and it's pretty much is that um, where you, you can know when someone's thinking of you kind of thing so yeah so she's doing this and she's realizing every time I solve a problem that is there yeah so that's all right so that's all right and she did it with this other guy she found something and then she turned around and, and I'll get the picture of him this guy here um, I don't know if you can oh, see him. Oh, let's get it back up again. Um, oh, not working for me now. But yeah, he um, the gets that picture and she turns and waits for to the doggy and, and he doesn't come. And, she, and the guy goes, Why, what are you waiting on? Waiting for doggy. He normally when I find something, doggy's there. And she turns and waits and he wasn't there and he, she, he just looks at it and next minute you know Ducky's on the phone to him and but say this is what I found so that's a good ESP gut instant yeah I do this a lot in other things like this is not a, a um, ESC thing but I I remember one day when I was 18, I was at a friend, well, living at a, with a friend, and I hear the word, get up. So I get up, 30 seconds later, the roof fell down, yeah? That's a gut instinct, but it's a psychic gut instinct. I call it clear all I hear it, I get up, the roof falls, yeah? And that's what it was with Dougie and Abby, um, but not in a clear all your thing but ESP thing. Every time she finds something she get him somehow. Yeah. So that's okay. But this thing with Tony now I use this a lot because um this thing with Tony, um this is another thing. I don't have Abby in this one. But these two people here that's why I'm gonna pick a picture. These two people here Pretty much thinks Tony's dead, yeah? 
they got the fellow ID, they got the badge, they got the car, they got the body, and the car's Tony's here, so they think it's Tony, but it's Tony's dead, yeah? And it's a normal thing, if everything's there, prove it, it's Tony, yeah? So that's okay. But Abby thinks differently. Abby says, I want proof, I've got the photo ID, I've got the car, I've got the person, but is it really the person? Is it really Tony? Do we have the um, um, blood test back? Do we have the skin test back? Do we have the same colour eyes, um, fingerprints, tooth, um, teeth, um, finger, whatever you call it? Do we have proof? Yeah? And she's really home pinning on it. I want proof. I just want proof. I can't believe it's Tony. I just want proof. Fair enough. And then he, they realise it's not Tony. He helps out at the latest sister and everyone's in and gave him a big hug. I knew you weren't dead. So that's that's a gut incident, but it's not a psychic incident. I'll call it it's a gut incident. You you read in between the lines and you think, yeah, I've got the information, but it's missing something, yeah? It's just missing something. It's, it doesn't quite fit well, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you can have a psychic thing like a clear audience ESP thing that's quite psychic yeah but things like this isn't and I had a lot of things like this like I said I can read the trend lines pretty much I can do body language a perfect sample where I knew something was going to happen with this show because she could read the trend lines and that's the same and I'm using this too because I like the idea that you can think about, think outside the box, yeah, um, I'm a, a Perkins and I'm going to use, I'm using these two samples because one is about me and the other one is about just a TV show, yeah, and I think that's important to know so I'm not harming anyone, yeah, pardon me, so that's what I'm trying to say, sometimes gut instance is not always a psychic thing, it's, it's about Looking at a situation and thinking about does this make sense? A perfect example, I won't get really into it, but the COVID 19 story. Now, I'm going to use one example here. If you, have you ever watched the news? And one news will say, um, I don't know. Like three weeks of, I mean, sorry, three days before it happened, the schools will be closed. And I'm, I haven't watched it, but I know. And a couple of days later, in Sydney, it'll be the same. You know, the school will be closed a week before the school meant to close. Yeah, so it's a repeating thing. And the other thing would be with the news. Uh, one news would say, no ships are allowed aboard. I'm on land, yeah, this is in Australia, I must admit, this is in Australia, but then another news reporter, a show, news, will say they let people off the boat, they bring people off the boat, so it doesn't make sense, and I, I'm using this as an example, because it's going on now, and if you're on YouTube now, and you're watching this, and this is a couple of years later, I will highly, if you want to know what a bit about it, just Google it, it'll be on the, on Facebook, on, on the internet, so it's really easy to get. But it really makes me think outside of square a lot, with a lot of things lately, and it made me think about things like that. So, I just want to, I'm just using this as a sample, I don't know why I wanted to use these as a sample, like N NCIS. For some reason, I just thought I watched it last night, and it, like I said, you had two people who really thought Tony was dead. Two point where um, Sarah, I think it's her name, the person, this young lady here, she saw the mucking around with Tony at the end that she's got his um, amulet knife. <laughs> so, 
Oh, maybe in some ways I'll just get back. I think so. I thought that was fun. And I was, well, how you got two people really believing it. And it wasn't a. I, I did, didn't used to get instant at all, I would say. And we have one person really hoping that she just wants the truth. Is it tiny? I don't believe it till I get all the proofs, facts together, you know. And it's a good one too like we're all like how many times you look at something think, mm, should I should I do it and if you choose to do it and it was the right thing yeah it makes you think like my perfect example when after the September 11th thing happened in the terrorist attacks in 2000 I think it was in 2001 I think it was I meant to go back overseas to America and for, no, that's right. No, so this is when the year two f September never happened. I was thinking to myself, how looking at the um, can I afford it and what am I going to do up there kind of thing. And at the end, I realized I mm, can't really afford it, but you know what? I don't really want to go, and I don't know why. I just had this gut feeling, I just wasn't really wanted to do it yet. And as we all know. To, in 2001, the whole September 11th happened. No, I don't know. I don't know if that's a gut instinct saying, don't go or not, but it made me think. So, so that's pretty much what I want to put out there. And it's a bit, it's, it is a bit rumbling, this kind of thing, this is fun, because I don't have a, a super way I want to do this. Um, and I don't know if I did this at the start, but I'll say it again. I just like to thank the crew and the show because it's a really good show, and it made me stop and think about thinking about thinking outside the box, and just what it is about thinking about thinking outside the box. It's not not everything is has to be because it's you got the fellow of Tony, and it's Tony's guy has to be Tony that kind of thing and I'm just hoping people can think outside the box with all this kind of stuff not with the show and not with what I'm saying but more go with your gut instinct does this make sense especially with the COVID-19 stuff I just want people just to think about why is it so you know it's like I said it doesn't have to be connected to something, if, if it's connected to something, yeah, but just think outside the box, hear and listen to what you're hearing and say, and it helps me with other stuff too, like, um, I mean, how many times you walked in the room and think, mm, I don't like this person, you don't know why you don't like this person, and you know a day or two later, you know why, because they did something, yeah, that kind of stuff, so, it's pretty much why I put the gut instinct into it because it, it can be a psychic thing but it doesn't have to be a psychic thing. It can be just watching someone's body language and you can read between their lines with that person. I mean, yeah, how many times have we done that and oh, we don't listen to it and we do the opposite, you know, like, you, like, person it would be I mean it didn't happen but say if this was a true story with Tony yeah and you set up the food you stuff and you think shit he's alive what do we do now kind of thing you know so it's just one of those things I thought I want to share and I want to put this show into it and I just like the same the guys for it because it's a really good show and it's just one of them so if you watch it you know why I say it but yeah so that's pretty much it it's just based on instincts and in both sides you know you can have your normal instincts or even mm, does this feel right or such and such said this but such and such says this that's a kind of next let's get a bit more into this or yeah or it's exactly the same like it could be a psychic thing esp clairvoyance who knows but it's both, so it doesn't always have to be a psychic thing, so.
hope you like this one. It's like it's a bit rambling. Um, it's just because it's one of those ones I just watched last night. Now I watched a bit the, two nights ago with the ESP stuff with Abby. And I, thought, I wasn't going to use it. And I thought, oh, this is fun. This is, this is cool. It's like it to me kind of thing. I can relate to it. But when I watched that last night with the Tony, the other one for Tony was dead. I just thought, mmm, this is a perfect episode. It's a perfect one. That instance is a good one. Because, like I said, it's a lot of stuff happening right now. And I just like to see most of us think that's how I disagree with it. So, have you in like it? Um, and like I said, if you do want to know a bit more about the clone of Fire um, 19 stuff that I, why well, I don't think it's happening, just put it down on Facebook or send it through um, YouTube. Or my email is margaretdiffco at hotmail.com. Now I will put this all down for you, so if you want, yeah, if you want me to do it, I'm fine with it. But it's up to you guys. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. This week I'm going to call it NIS, no, NCIS week. So I'll probably do two readings. I thought one I'm going to do one on Abby and one on Dali. I think um, I thought I'd do them too because I did a reading on, I think it's Sarah, that's how you say it, and the one on Tony. But I, don't know, I feel a bit weird doing, weird doing it. I might do another one and see what happens. But yeah, so enjoy. Um, do a read on them too and see what else comes up. Bye. Have fun. Have a good Easter too. See ya.